Crayon here. Uh, today we're going to be playing another entry. Uh, entry 3 I played for the How Have You Been Game Jam featured on itch.io. Uh, and this one's called How I've Been. Uh, so it's a visual no novel that can be played in your browser. Again, I'll leave a link in the description as always. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button. And since you're a subscriber now, hit the bell notification button so that once the next video drops, you get a notification when it drops. Simple enough. Uh, right, here we go. I've been doing well. Okay, I'm supposed to press enter. How I've been. This looks like a reference to Mario. My hobbies! Aw, it's my sewing machine. I've been learning to sew the past year, and the stuff I've been making recently have finally started to look kind of presentable. Oh, I know that feel. <laughs> Not with sewing, but with just the creative process in general. I've worked hard on making games this summer break. I think I've got the hang of, the hang of it. It's really fun. I pick up a container of lye. I've started making handmade soap recently. It's really fun. I'm careful when handling lye because it's caustic and can burn me. Truth. Amazing how something I used to view as scary is now something I handle on a regular basis to make soap. I pick up the rubber spatula I use for baking. I've been doing some baking this summer break, but mostly just bread. Hey, that's tough. I can bake lots of pies, but when I learned to break bread, bake bread, that was way more difficult. How was school? Hello! I've made a lot of new friends last year. Hmm. I studied hard and got good grades last year. Oh, I had a professor that was always late and also graded late and was unclear about her instructions. I didn't like her much, especially her tardiness and lack of instruction. But I did my best to be patient and understanding. I was totally checking my mic to make sure I uh, had it unmuted. Okay, I just wanted to check that there was anything new. My feelings. I pick up someone else's college diploma. My friends graduated ahead of me. I'm graduating late because I'm slow and because I was struggling with some things in the past. I don't let getting left behind bother me at all. I have to face the future. And hey, there's no problem with taking your time finishing college. Enjoy it and keep on being awesome. There's this feeling of stagnation in my life. Nothing seems to be moving forward. I fill my life with hobbies and do my best in school, but it doesn't feel enough. I feel like nothing's moving forward. Mm. The end. A heart. I'm not sure why I chose to draw a heart. This is how I've been so far. It's not that eventful, but sometimes life's like that. Nothing exciting or dramatic has happened. Maybe one day something cool will happen, but in the meantime, I'll be doing my best in school and having fun with my hobbies. End. The end. Oh, this was such a sweet little game. I love that uh, it was purple. And there's purple themes. Uh, what I wanted to say about the feeling of stagnation is, one, I bet you're in your 20s. <laughs> and that is just the feeling that seems to be pervasive for several years. So, become friends with it. And what you said you're going to do at the end uh, with just keep focusing on school and on your hobbies, do that. Also, if there's anything at all that sounds interesting, do that. It sounds like you've been doing that with the soap uh, and baking and sewing, so be awesome. Like, when I was in college, I never uh, imagined, in college round one, I never imagined that I'd be doing YouTube afterwards. I never imagined that I'd pick that up as a hobby. But it's a great creative outlet for me that's helped me to really grow and get excited about doing things again. Uh, so now I'm like, hey, why not keep trying to make it into a career? You never know. You really never know what you're going to do. I'm also starting to pick up comedy. And it's not to turn this video into something about myself. I just got excited at that feeling of stagnation because when you get to the feeling of stagnation, things have to change. And it's just like, ugh, I can't describe it. You'll eventually get to where you can't stand the feeling of stagnation, and you'll launch yourself into something. Uh, and it's usually going to be one of those hobbies that you've picked up. So you have been doing well, and you've been you've been normal <laughs> on that stagnation feeling. So this was so much a cute game, and I'm so glad to hear that you've been doing well. And as for the game, it's like this is. We'll go through this. This is pretty cool because your your character is white, and you see that there's a hallway to your right, so you instantly know to try to walk. 
to there. There's white shapes. Let's step on them. And then you get more dialogue as a reward. So I think that's... And then you've even put the tiles up there for each group of shapes so that we know what things deal with. I feel like it's a very well organized and fun game. And again, the design is simple yet effective. I know exactly what to do and where to go without needing to be told. Uh, which I always love it when games are able to do that. Uh, where I can figure out the controls by how it's because of how it's been designed. So, uh, thank you for that game. It's so great! I enjoyed it! Uh, and I hope you continue to do well, and that if drama happens, it's of the good kind. Alright everyone, so it's that time again that where we end the video. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for this game. It's so cute! It's so cute! And I love it. Uh, but I'm the type of person that like, humans being human! And there's just a human that's told us how they've been doing! Ah! Okay. So, uh, remember, I'm on so much social media, I can't even believe it. I'm an introvert, for goodness sakes. So, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Xbox, and WordPress, all those places, you can find me there. Uh, follow me. Follow me on YouTube, because this is where you get to see me talk to you the most. And all those places lead back here anyway. So, until next time, and thanks for watching as always, Crayon out.